Welcome to Brilliantly British, my name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make a fisherman's pie. Yes, this beautiful thing in front of me here. So, as I show you how to make it, in that chair of yours, sit back, relax, with a cup of tea in hand and enjoy this episode. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. The British Isles are surrounded by some of the world's richest fishing waters. Waters rich in prawns, cod, haddock and salmon, ingredients that make the filling of a fisherman's pie. Our fisherman's pie will consist of a rich, creamy sauce, a variety of vegetables, whole pieces of fish, all topped with grilled mashed potato. So, with your appetite peaked, allow me to introduce the ingredients to you. For today's Brilliantly British fisherman's pie, you will need some dill, potatoes, parsley, smoked haddock, butter, cheddar cheese, some pickled gherkins, some peas fresh or frozen, some fresh cauliflower, some fresh broccoli, carrots, leek, celery, some plain white flour, some creme fraiche, some mustard powder, garlic powder and curry powder. You will also need the stars of this dish, some prawns, some diced cod and some diced salmon. And then finally, to avoid the occurrence of bland food, you will need some salt and some pepper. That's it for the making of this brilliantly British fisherman's pie. But before you get started, attend to your hydration, brew yourself a nice cup of hot tea so you can sip on that whilst you cook. Okay, off camera I peeled and chopped up some potatoes and will begin to cook them over a medium low heat. In the meantime, I skinned and diced cod and salmon adding my prawns to them before seasoning with salt and pepper, then placing to one side. Then from nowhere, I'll summon a pot of milk with the salmon and cod skins added before laying my smoked haddock fillets therein to poach gently over a medium low heat. With the potatoes and haddock cooking slowly in an oiled pan over a medium heat, begin to frame your carrots and celery with a splash of water covering with a lid before leaving to tenderize. With the pan somewhat dry and with the vegetables now tender, transfer them to a bowl and then repeat with some chopped broccoli and cauliflower, seasoning with some salt and the addition of water before leaving to tenderize for a few minutes. Once cooked, transfer to your bowl of carrots and celery, place to one side, then if ready, Remove your haddock fillets from the poaching milk, placing for now to one side. Sieving your milk thereafter before placing that also to one side for now. You thought we're done with the vegetables. No, you're getting your five a day with this dish, period. So into the same pan, toss in some sliced leek with some salt and a splash of water, then allow to freem under a lid until the liquid in the pan has somewhat evaporated, then transfer to your bowl of vegetables. And just like that, we have five vegetables cooked perfectly. Now, as a reward for cooking all of your greens, enjoy watching this butter burg melt beautifully. And without getting carried away, into your lake of molten butter, mix in and begin to fry curry, garlic, and mustard powder over a medium low heat for a minute or so before the addition of flour, which should be mixed in and allowed to cook for around two minutes. Still over a medium heat, gradually begin to whisk in the poaching milk until you end up with this silky, smooth, buttery, aromatic, decadent, golden. Okay, I'll stop. But simply at this point, the sauce is ready and should be removed from the heat before having freshly chopped parsley and dill added thereto. Of course, followed by a helping of salt and pepper. Perfect. The smoked haddock in the meantime will have cooled to a hand friendly temperature, thus allowing me to skin and flake my haddock fillets before placing them to one side for later on. Now, we have prepared five vegetables, but why not add another good source of iron in the form of garden peas, plus some chopped gherkins. 
and that means we're ready to construct our fisherman's pie. To assemble, pour in some sauce, scatter in half of the vegetables, followed by some smoked haddock, then my cod, salmon and prawns, the rest of my sauce, and then for now placing to one side whilst we attend to our mash. Now, off camera, I warmed up some milk, then incrementally added it to my mashed potato before finally mixing in some grated cheddar cheese before seasoning with, you know what to do. Now would be a good time to begin preheating your oven, but with the most beautiful cheesy mash made, waste no time spreading it on top of your pie. Then, Line a baking tray with foil and baking paper, placing your pie dish atop, then sliding your tray into your oven to bake thereafter. Now, sigh, relax, whilst the pie bakes, locate a screen, pour yourself some tea, and then surf through some of our amazing, brilliantly British content, making sure, of course, to like and subscribe. Now, in no time at all, your pie will have baked beautifully, browning on top and bubbling all over the place. Now, with all that done, I think it's high time that we begin to... Tasting, tasting, tasting. Poof. All right, we are going to dig into this pie. And you know, it is going to be a bit of a shame ruining the nice crust that we've developed on top. But it has to be done. You know, it's not a piece of artwork. It's actually a delicious looking bowl of food. So let's tuck in. All right, I've got myself a portion. I hope you have two. In three, two, one. This has exceeded all of my expectations, really. I mean, oh my. This is one of the best dishes I've ever had. Let me try and break it down. It's creamy, it's set. I mean, it doesn't fall apart, which means the sauce had the perfect, perfect consistency. The vegetables still have a bite to them. I can identify each and every fish in there. Nothing is lost oh, and the mash are oh, the wonder of cheesy mashed potato. Oh, what a what a creation this is What a meal and you know, this is this is everything you need. There are so many vegetables in here. It's actually Quite balanced. I implore you if you know someone who says anything negative about British food It is your duty. I've given you the task make this dish for them. It will change their minds completely Please, please, please make this dish. Thank you all so much for allowing me to show you how to make a fisherman's pie. Knowing that you liked this episode, don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button. Tell everyone you know about the Brilliant the British Food on this channel, and follow us on all of the social media platforms that this channel is on, and I will see you next time.